Hey everybody, welcome to another episode on the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI. So which generative AI startups are getting the most funding? We're going to check that out right now. Generative AI deal making slowed in the third quarter, so this is the quarter ending September, but the vertical remains top of mind for investors and startups. AI startups are still catching sky-high valuations powered by all-in bets by big tech companies. Investors poured $21.4 billion into generative AI startups this year through September 30th, up from $5.1 billion in 2022. So that is a four times increase in a year. Why? Because ChatGPT came out in November of 2022. These are the 10 generative AI startups that have raised the most capital. So number one, as you might guess, OpenAI, the maker of ChatGPT and GPT-4, and one of the oldest, OpenAI was founded in 2015. OpenAI is the undisputed leader in large language models. With Microsoft's 10 billion invested, they've raised 11.3 billion. Number two, Anthropic, also based in San Francisco like OpenAI. Founded in 2021, Anthropic is the largest competitor to OpenAI. Anthropic's large language model is called Claude. Anthropic has raised money from Amazon and Alphabet, the parent of Google. They've raised 5.2 billion so far. Number three, Databricks, also San Francisco. You're detecting a pattern here. Databricks is a data and AI SaaS company that was founded in 2013. Their data platform, Lakehouse, had a massive upgrade in June of 2023. Databricks also bought generative AI startup Mosaic ML in July for 1.3 billion. They've raised 4 billion of capital. Number four is Inflection of Palo Alto. Founded in 2022, Inflection is the developer of Pi, an AI assistant that I've done several shorts on. So Pi is a personal AI app. Inflection has raised money from Bill Gates and former Google head Eric Schmidt, along with NVIDIA and Microsoft, and has raised $1.6 billion. Number five is Cerebrus. Cerebrus is attempting to power the future of AI with chips designed to lower energy costs and hasten data processing. Cerebrus is headquartered in Sunnyvale, California. Cerebrus was founded in 2016. They've raised 723 million of capital. So this is a hardware company facilitating generative AI. Number six is Generate Biomedicines. Founded in 2018, Generate Biomedicines utilizes machine learning and generative AI to develop new drugs. Generative Biomedicines has raised a total of $693 million, and they are based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So that's the first one not in the San Francisco Silicon Valley corridor. Number seven, Scale AI. Open AI Name Scale AI as its preferred partner for large language model fine tuning. The startup offers a developer tool for companies to tweak existing LLM models and was founded in 2016. Scale AI has raised 602.7 million so far and is in San Francisco. Number eight is Cohere. Cohere creates large language models for enterprise use. The Canadian startup was founded in 2019 and is backed by NVIDIA, Oracle, and SAP. Its customers include Jasper, Oracle, and Notion, which provides a productivity platform. Cohere has raised $440 million and is in Toronto. So that's the first one out of the U.S. Number nine, Adept. Adept is back in San Francisco. Another large language model creator, Adept is taking on OpenAI, Inflection, and Anthropic with its Act One AI assistant. The startup was founded in 2021 and has quickly raised money, raising a total of 415 million. 
And number 10 is Dialpad. So Dialpad uses AI for customer relations and has launched several partnerships with big tech players. Their biggest partnership is with Alphabet's Google Cloud. They're based in San Ramon, California, just north of San Francisco. They've raised 415 million of capital so far. So you may have noticed something about this list, and that is that there are no Chinese companies listed. American VCs, venture capitalists, are not investing in Chinese companies right now. And even the Chinese internal VC market has slowed precipitously. So that means that China was leading the AI race in some ways, but now is being heavily impacted by a lack of funding. So we'll see what the impact of that may be over time. So thanks so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share. We can only grow with your help. I really appreciate all of your support and help, especially my subscribers pushing us over a thousand a couple of weeks ago. Also, please support us on Patreon so that I can do more events like going to TED AI. I can only do more in-person events with your support. So thanks so much. Take care. Bye.